No, two over, two over by the bridge. Two over by the bridge. I got him. I got him. I got him. Got a trophy system. No, God. Oh, son of a... God, the combat bow. Com hang on. I'm gonna... Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hold on. Yeah, what's up? No, it's playing a new Call of Duty. Yeah. Oh, week one is... I thought... Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, I'll I'll have it. I'll 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 do it right now. Sorry about that. God fucking damn it! I've got a fucking video to make. Internet, good morning. My name is Magnitude, aka Steve, and welcome to the BBR Season 3, Week 1 of the Milwaukee Sawsbucks, going up against the Indianapolis Caballions. That logo is very small on the screen, and that was, it was tough for me to get who that's... Anyway, uh, so this is yeah, the first week of the Sawsbucks. It's brought to you uh, in part by Fight Boy. That's the logo there. You can use code MAG for some percent off. That link's in the description, guys. Listen, they, they sponsor my league videos, so you should go sponsor their business idea by giving them your money in exchange for dope attire. My team this this week is Darmanitan, Hitmontop, Dracovish, Rabambi, Roserade, and Kaparaja. And my opponent's team this week is fucking Death Incarnate. It is just it, it's it's if you took if you took the death of every living thing that's ever that's it, it, it's ever died, I guess. Every every living thing that's ever died. You take the essence of that death and you put it into a can and you just set it on a table in front of you. And then you try to open that can with a can opener, but it's, you, you don't know how to use a can opener because you, were, you, you weren't born in like 1907, so you don't know how to get it. Eventually, you just stab it with a steak knife in the side, and then death explodes all over your fresh kitchen tile that you just put up. Gotta go back to Lowe's. That's never good. Or Home Depot, I guess. His team fucking murders mine in every way, so I had to try to figure out a way to stop his high-powered special offense, and he brought all three of them. He brought his Landa or his Thunderous T, his Spec Spectrier, and Tapu Lele, and of course, you know, the bottom three, Drapion, Vaporeon, and Incineroar, but those aren't the big three I'm talking about. We're talking about Thunder. I, I, there was not a lot I had, especially defensively, but this team is not built, you know, really defensively. But this team week one I'm going up against is like, hey, so remember how you built a team that wasn't very defensive at all? Well, you made a huge fucking mistake, buddy. So I had to try to get really creative in how I'm going to slow this offense down and really just kind of force my own offense on his offense. And that's really all... That, that, that's my option. I know that I cannot stop. I joked like this. This battle is going to take 11 turns, one way or another. Uh, I can't stop his offense, so I have to try my best to just out-offense him. Uh, I leave with with uh, Kaparaja. I figure if he wants to Focus Blast me, he might just want to sit here and Focus Blast me, but I have Rock Slide. He's just going to Volt Switch. I wish I got them Rockies up there, but I, you know, Volt Switch is probably obvious. But he, everything was a threat, so I, it's it's hard to predict in this game because everything is a threat. So I don't want to be wrong and then kick myself for not killing a threat that I should. He goes into it. I mean, this is not a bad. I, I enjoy this, right? Actually, I think I have, uh, yeah, I have the Chopper Berry. Or the fighting one, yeah, whatever. But either way, so uh, I, you know, I figure, you know, he might flare blitz me. But even looking now, offensively, like, what do I have, right? What do I have? I hit my top, I guess. I can get an Intimidate off on him. He's got an Intimidate off on me. Uh, if he's got an Adrenaline Orb, that'd be cool. I keep thinking of an Adrenaline Orb to use. I did that, did that one time with that that uh, land, or, uh, Tornadus. He drained punches, which is totally fine. It's going to do about 30 damage to me. Uh, you know, almost nada. Uh, so now I have a rare offensive, you know, uh, advantage. Uh, I have to use it wisely, and I figure I'm just going to use Earthquake, because he might, I mean, I don't think he might U-turn if he has it, if he thinks he's faster than me. Um, I mean, if he goes into anything but Thunderous, I'm a happy boy. Good tap of Lele. I mean, this isn't bad, right? This is a little bit of damage. Psychic Surge, you know, is I'm going up against these, these different kinds of floors. It's weird I can just change the floor. So, uh, you know, I am okay with that. I am okay with that for damage. And now uh, I'm... Uh, I thought about making, like, a very obvious, like, okay, he, I'm gonna stay in because he's gonna predict me a switch. Should I just stay in and hope? 
uh, you know, that he overpredicts turn one or not turn one, uh, game one like this. But as you can see, I am I am at wit's end. I decide, you know what? I'm just gonna nope, nope, not gonna do it. I faked myself out there. That's how bad of a fake out that was. So I'm gonna go to Copper Roger. Maybe he'll go for a psychic move. He does. That does a lot of damage. I thought that was gonna do a little less. Turns out it does not. I want to get raw. I don't know if he's gonna risk it or not. He might not risk it. Uh, but he goes for psychic, and I die. If I lived and just got rocks up, I would have been super bummed instead of killing it. But I didn't. Uh, and now I have to kind of assume that he might be scarfed in some fashion. Now I also have scarfed boys in this team. Uh, and that's Darmanitan, of course. So, Tabulele has already claimed one victim. And I'm trying to slow it down, make sure he doesn't claim more. I think he is going to go into Bayporion. Oh, I am really deciding. I don't know what to do. I, there was a lot of indecision on my part there. And it's... Uh, this is a, a different... So, this... When team building for this team week one, I knew kind of immediately that it was going to be a struggle. And I'm looking looking more at more teams. And I realized, like, my conventional team building... I think this was my problem last year. My conventional team building was trying to build too much for what my opponent might have and not build for what I have to make my opponent think that I'm going to have. That doesn't make much sense. But So, um, and the struggle with team building with this team is that I don't really have many defensive options. So, already in my back of my mind, I'm like, shit, uh, you know, what do I have switching to that? What do I have switching to that? And because I don't have those things that are very apparent, my gut is telling me, wow, this, this sucks. Uh, but, you know, b but that was my kind of, I I'm still used to that old team building method that I have. And, uh, you know, I'm still stuck on that feeling of how to team build, and rather than just going, okay, so this is what my opponent has to deal with, and they gotta fucking deal with it. He's gonna go to tap Lele again, and no, there's no psychic terrain, so I can go for bullet punches, which is cool. And I decide this has just gotta be. I have to, I have to set up an environment now where it seems to be that Rabambi is going to be my win condition. I have to set it up where things are gonna die to Rabambi, and I things they can't take damage. You know, I can't switch in a uh, Darmanitan in on a Tabulele. On a, I had to go for a bullet punch, hope I get a crit. I don't get a crit. He's going to Psy Shock me. That be curtains for Hitmon on top. Uh, so I have to figure out now, you know, how I'm going to get Rabambi in uh, safely. And it, the unfortunate circumstance that I had to almost essentially lose this game before Rabambi can come and bring it back. Because I need to make sure that things have damage on them uh, throughout. And the big thing is Spectrier, because that is is going to be an issue for Rabambi specifically. I have to make sure that it's not an issue for Rabambi specifically. So I, it's, it's here, it, it, it's at this point where I'm like, um, I just double checked on set, I'm like, I got Sticky Web, don't need that, Quiver Dance, I could probably do what I gotta do with those. Now if I had Giga Drain, uh, I probably just would have gone right into Rabambi and Quiver Dance to right then and there, and uh, hope that he would just kind of go for maybe a Scald. I, I don't know, something like that. But he's going to switch out. Going to go into his Drapion, which is fine. I'm going to get a layer of Spikes up. Hazards are paramount because now I'm setting up my, uh, you know, my... I need to try to win this somehow. Let's figure it out. Let's get Hazards up. Let's get Mo Let's get Rabambi just at the brink of loss. And I'm going to have to bring it back. So I have to set up an environment where, that, where that's going to take place because he just has... Switched into so much stuff, I need to keep doing that. And again, I'm having second thoughts again. I got Metronome on Dracovich, so I figured I can spam, you know, uh, Bulldoze or something like that. So I have Bulldoze. I go to Darmanitan, I switch in Darmanitan in on something, and he knock goes for knockoff. And uh, that sucks uh, in that moment, but he still has a Porion around with you know, a bunch of HP, so I didn't feel confident that I could just wheel into Manhattan, especially given the fact that he has, um, oh, what's that thing, what is that, uh, the, the Spectrier left, because that's likely going to be Scarfed as well, because the only thing I have, only one that I have in my team is Audino, so I, if I were him, I would have brought Scarfed Spectrier, which wouldn't matter if Darmanitan had a Scarf anyway, so I got Rise of Crash, I outspeed him, and he gone die, no, he's not going to die, that would be ridiculous, he goes with Poison Jab, and I am a dead Darmanitan. And, uh, again, this is part of the unfortunate strategy that I put myself in way too early. 
Uh, Roserade, Rabambi, and Dragovich are left against six of his all-stars. I am dis- Oh, don't go Rabambi yet, Steve. That'll be poor decision-making in your part. Dragovich is the one. You got Bulldoze, bro. You got Bulldoze, bro. I got it, but I have to watch out for it beforehand because I don't have... Because I have webs and not a grass move on Rabambi. I have to be careful of Vaporeon. So that's going to make me go thing, go for things like Bulldoze here, which I thought, you know, I might just be able to yank off. He might just go for a knockoff thinking I'm choice, and I can just, you know, clip him. That does not happen. In fact, the worst thing ever, not the worst thing ever, but uh, he does go under Vaporeon, which is something. And now, ah, that didn't do a lot of damage, but it didn't even faster than him. So I could get up a sub if I so chose to. The problem is, uh, so I'm still thinking the moment here. I'm like, okay, if I go for a sub and he just switches out or... I don't know, goes for Wish. I, you know, I'm just, it just doesn't matter. Okay, I'm not going to win this. Uh, I'm just, I have to assume that he is going to not stay in here. Uh, he's just going to flat out switch and go into something because he knows that he, I don't know, maybe he, maybe he fears an outrage is on the way. Um, maybe he fears, I don't know, but he doesn't fear anything because he stays in. So, but, ah, he does, he flip turns, but now Vaporeon is down enough HP where I can maybe kill it with two bulldozers with the metronome and the spikes and all that stuff uh so i mean rabambi is within range or vaporand in rabambi range he goes into this guy to get an intimidate off and i still think he's trying to bait a water type move we can just bring in vaporeon you go yeah he had vaporeon as well on the team he's got vaporeon and cordelli the two water absorbers this team just does not stack up well with me at all uh but when building for this team uh you know I, it was it was very tough. It was a lot of decisions I had to make. That were tough decisions, and but I realized that this is probably going to be an outlier week for building because this he has like everything that it takes to build a good team against me. You know, he's got two water absorbers, three immaculate special attackers, like three just 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 Thor's hammers. And he's got the three high power ones, but that means all the other teams can't have those two water absorbers, and all three other teams in the same vein can't have these three mods. Uh, he predicts well and go if I went for a vicious rend, that would have been the choicest option. But uh, I, you know, I have to go to Rose Raid at this point. I gotta try to save Dracovish for something. I mean, I, you know, I could probably take on Vaporeon. So he has, I've seen Flip Turn. I don't know if he's got. Probably doesn't have Wish Protect. Then he'd have to have maybe Ice Beam, but he probably has Scalds wants to burn me, so I don't know if he even has that. So I go in Roserade. If he wants to go for a Thunderbolt, that's fine. I am a super special defense. That I am just... That's why I switched out originally, because I wanted to keep this... You know, I wanted to keep the bulk of Roserade intact and not get his leftover, or not get his Black Sludge knocked off. He's going to switch, so I am even believe he's probably choice in some fashion. He's going to go on a Drapion, and I am just going to be able to... To it KO'd with a sludge bomb. So we are starting to bring this back. And, uh, I mean, I haven't killed any of his mons yet, but we are setting up the environment where he's got a lot, you know, uh, a, four of his mons are almost, let's see, Drapion's almost dead. Just kidding. Drapion is dead. Vaporeon's almost dead. Incineroar is almost dead. Um, Tapu Lele is getting down there. So, uh, realistically, you know, the environment is being set up I just need to get, I just need to get Rabambi in to get up a Quiver Dance. Like, you know, thing's almost dead, right? So, I feel like this is not the moment to get up a Quiver Dance. So, the good news is that, um, the good news is that, uh, the, the time for the plan to come into fruition is happening now, whether I like it or not. Um, there's just, I, I have to, I, I'm going to go for protect, I want to see what he's going to do, what he's gonna, if he's going to lock himself into something, if he's going to, you know, I don't know, but he goes for Psy Shock, so I'm wasting one turn of the Misty Surge for no other reason than to be petty and, uh, to give myself a little more time to think about <laughs> how I want to go about this, if I want to sacrifice Rose right here. Um, I want to try to get Rabambi in against Vaporeon, but that's not happening, obviously, as a Roserade. Uh, so I felt like, though, if I went into Dracovish, I mean, he, he already saw that I was not faster than his Incineroar before, so that wouldn't have been a good bluff that I was Scarfed, unless he was Scarfed from Incineroar, then who knows. So uh, I go into Rabambi, and this just has to happen. This is it. We are here. Uh, I, yes. I mean, the score is 5-2, but it's more like 3.5-2 based on the mods he's got left. 
He goes into Thunderous, and if I clicked Quiver Dance there, that would have been absolutely momentous. I could have got a, a second Quiver Dance here. Uh, if I Quiver Dance there, but I could not risk, you know, if he s just stayed in and, you know, if he crit me, I lost. Uh, but I knew that I still had options depending on, if, you know, depending on what happened. Like, let's say I killed the Tap Lele and he goes into, you know, this guy here. You know, there's still... Uh, you know, I'm still kind of in the same such a scenario, just probably at less HP. So, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I did not anticipate him switching there, to be honest with you. If, if I thought he was going to switch, then I was going to cover dance all day. I didn't think he was going to switch. But I Moonblast, so now I was looking for a chance to go for Bug Buzz, because I am Throat Spray. But that doesn't exist. So I'm just at plus one. So now the o I have, uh, I have to get lucky here, because, um... If he goes in Spectreer and I Quiver Dance, I cannot kill him with the Moonblast. There's no possible way. The only way I can win this is if I get a Moonblast special attack drop right here. If I get a Moonblast special attack drop on this Moonblast, I win the game. There's I win because he cannot kill me. And I can 2 a KO with two Moonblasts. I have to do it right here. I need God... Fuck it, damn it! I this was a bad, this was a bad one. It was a four zero loss, ladies and gentlemen. Four zero loss. If I if I quiver danced on the switch out in the thunderous, I win because then I would have then gotten up a second quiver dance. Um, well, actually no. And then it would have come down to the same kind of scenario because I don't a plus two moonblast could not KO Spectreer either, which is the problem from before. So I would need to get a crit again or something along those lines, or actually, or maybe I could have gone for. A, and well, then, then I maybe could have gone for a Bug Buzz on the Thunderous. No, I'm, I'm not killed. Anyway, so, uh, like I explained in the video, guys, this was a tough one for me to build for. This was very tough. Uh, going forward, I do not foresee the same problems in building. So I, I, I expect better results going forward. But this one, just a part of the giant slump I've been in. But I do look... I do have optimism out of this battle because this one was just a tough one. This was just a tough matchup. I tried my best. I had an opportunity to win in the end. Didn't happen, but that's the way it goes sometimes. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see each and one of you guys next time. Good night.